Hey, this is Chris, the Mortgage Pro. I'm going to show you the 13 simple mortgage steps to firing your landlord and buying your own house. Simple mortgage step number one, the application. Now there's three ways to fill out an application. One, you can go to the website, www.fireyourlandlord.info, fill out the application. It'll take you five, 10 minutes if you type really slow. Or way number two, if you're not really comfortable on a computer, call me up, we'll do it over the phone. I'll type it in for you. I'm gonna ask you the questions. I'll make it really simple. Or of course, number three, let's sit down together. We'll fill it out together. I'm gonna to ask you all the questions, but we'll do it face to face. You get to know me, I get to know you, and we're gonna get ready to get the process started. Simple mortgage step number two, documentation. We need obviously certain documentation, but it is different for everybody. Example, some people are hourly employees, some people are salaried, some people are self-employed, some people are commissioned. We're gonna look for different documentation. Some people have bankruptcies, I'm gonna need that. So basically, whatever your situation is, I'm gonna ask you for a list. I'm gonna give you a detailed list. This is exactly what I want. Some people, it's only seven or eight items. Some people, it's 15 items but they're all things that you already have that I need to see so I can work on the approval. Simple mortgage step number three, a pre-approval. I'm going to enter all this information into a computer. I have to analyze the income. I have to analyze your credit. I have to analyze how much money you have in the bank or in 401k or maybe even a gift or wherever it's coming from. I have to enter it in in a particular way. Now it's gonna be run right through Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac's website, and we're gonna issue what's called a DU approval. That is a desktop underwriter approval, and now you're good to go out and see some houses. Simple mortgage step number four. I do something very different that the other guys don't do. I do an underwritten approval. I will take that pre-approval and all those documents and even though I've been doing this for 27 years, that we're going to send it to an underwriter. And the underwriter is the person who actually approves or denies the file. They're going to go through every single thing and they're going to issue an approval subject to an appraisal because we don't even have a property yet. Subject to acceptable title. Little things like that have to be verified afterwards, but it's way stronger when you make an offer and your loan's already been approved. Simple mortgage step number five, go out and see a property. And once you decide, hey, this is the property I want, you're going to sit down with the realtor and he's going to write up the offer and make the offer. Now, I'm also going to get involved because my job is to try and get that listing agent to also accept that offer. The real estate agent, your agent, is trying to do the same thing. But I get to call up and say, hey, I already have a pre-approved buyer here. See, that's super important because what they really care about is how fast am I going to get paid? Is this deal going to close? And if it's already approved, hey, you're 10 steps ahead of the game. The other guys don't do that. Simple mortgage steps, number six, offer accepted. If the agent and the seller decide to accept the offer, we do here in California what we call open escrow. In 19 other states, they don't have escrows. They actually have attorneys. So our fees are a little cheaper. We do things a little different. Now the escrow company's job, they're a holding company. They're gonna look at all the paperwork. They're gonna be the ones gathering the money and controlling the money and make sure everybody gets what they're supposed to get. And they're gonna issue escrow instructions to both sides. You do this, you do this. This is what everybody has to do. And they coordinate the whole file. Simple mortgage step number seven disclosures. Now, there's a lot of legal papers and a lot of numbers that have to be crunched. And there's an estimate of what your costs will be and all kinds of things. It actually is a stack of paper about this thick. Now, you could hand sign, yes, your wrist is going to get a little tired, or you could sign electronically. You're going to get an email. It's pretty easy to do. It's going to be like click, accept, click, accept, that type of thing online. Simple to do. Hey, we're halfway through the video, but I want to ask you to do something for me. If you would, and you're enjoying this, do me a favor, like it, share it. If you have somebody might be interested and comment, I answer every comment personally. And of course you could subscribe and learn more from more videos. 
Simple mortgage step number eight, the appraisal. We have to order the appraisal, but you know, unlike years ago where we called up Harry the appraiser, we can't do that anymore. What we do today is we call an appraisal management company and they randomly select an appraiser in the local area and they call, they schedule an appraisal, they go out, they inspect the property, they do everything they need to do to come up with the proper value for a couple of reasons. Number one, the lender needs to know what is the true value. And number two, it protects you, the borrower, because you don't want to buy a house for $400,000 if the appraisal only comes in at three seventy-five. dollars So that's an extra level of layer of protection for you. Simple mortgage step number nine. What we're going to do now is we are going to submit to the underwriter. We're going to submit the title which we didn't have before. We're going to submit the appraisal, which we didn't have previously. And all the conditions, and this is very standard, the underwriter always comes back when they do the approval with conditions. It may be as simple as, hey, we need the updated pay stub or an updated bank statement, or hey, write a letter just explaining this to us. And we are going to submit them all to the underwriter so they can give their final approval. Simple mortgage step number 10. This is called the CD, the closing disclosure. We need to do this so that we can start the closing procedures. Now the closing disclosure is going to have pretty much the final numbers. This is exactly how much money your closing costs are, the rest of your down payment, all the little details. It's going to have all those final numbers. You need to sign that paper as soon as you get it. Simple mortgage step number 11, signing the actual closing docs. Now, these documents contain exact numbers. This is what your payment's going to be. This is how much your taxes are. This is how much your homeowner's insurance are. This is what your interest rate is. Nothing is going to change from here on out. You sign those documents and they're going to be about an inch thick. These must be hand signed. These cannot be signed electronically. So they have to be signed in front of a notary and the notary will usually explain if you need to what each page is and whatnot. Because again, there's a hundred pieces of paper or so that need to be signed. Simple mortgage step number 12, the loan funds. What happens is the funding department takes from escrow and takes from the underwriting department and everybody just takes all the numbers, puts them together and they dot every I, cross every T and make sure everything is perfect. And then they request the wire from the bank to fund that loan. Simple mortgage step number 13, the loan records. What that basically means is the title company has taken that paperwork, the deed and everything else and brought it to the county and the county has stamped it and they said, it's your home. And this is a bonus step. It's number 14. You have officially fired your landlord. You do the happy dance. You are a homeowner and no more renting for you.